So in this video, we are going to learn how to find the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix. So given that matrix A is equal to A, B, C, D, then the inverse of matrix A, which is written as inverse of A, is equal to 1 over the determinant of a times d negative b negative c a now this can be simplified as 1 over a times d minus b times c times the matrix d negative b negative c a so basically to find the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix, you first interchange the positions of the elements in the leading diagonals such that AD becomes DA. Next, you negate the elements of the other diagonals, that is B becomes negative B and then C becomes negative C. Then you multiply the resulting matrix by the reciprocal of the determinant of the matrix in question. So for example, given that matrix P is equal to 1, 2, 3, 5, then the inverse of matrix P is equal to 1 over the determinant of matrix P times 5, negative 2, negative 3, and then 1. So first of all, we interchange the positions of the elements of the leading diagonals and then we negate the elements of the other diagonal. So 2 becomes negative 2 and then 3 becomes negative 3. Now let's find the determinant of the matrix P. So we multiply 5 by 1 minus 3 times 2. Now let's simplify. 5 times 1 is 5. 3 times 2 is 6. So 5 minus 6 is negative 1. So this becomes negative 1 times the matrix 5, negative 2, negative 3, 1. Therefore, we have the inverse of P to be equal to negative 5. That is where we multiply negative 1 across. So we have negative 5. 2, 3, negative 1. So this is the inverse of the matrix P. Notice that a matrix say P times its inverse is equal to the inverse of matrix P times the matrix itself and that is equal to I which is the unit matrix or the identity matrix. Now the unit matrix is given by 1, 0, 0, 1. So basically if you multiply a matrix by its inverse, you are going to get what we call the identity matrix. Notice also that if the determinant of a square matrix is equal to zero, then the matrix is called a singular matrix and it has no inverse. So if the determinant of a square matrix CP is equal to zero, then it means that P has no inverse. However, if the determinant of a square matrix is not equal to zero, then the matrix is called a non-singular matrix and the matrix has an inverse. Now let's take an example. So if matrix P is equal to 3, 2, 4, 4, find the matrix Q such that PQ is equal to I, where I is a 2 by 2 unit matrix. So we said that when a matrix is multiplied by its inverse, the resultant matrix is an identity or a unit matrix. So P times Q is equal to I. So we can say that Q is the inverse of P. So Q is the inverse of P. 
Now I let the matrix Q be A, B, C, D and the unit matrix B 1, 0, 0, 1. So from this, we say that the matrix P, which is 3, 2, 4, 4 times Q, which is A, B, C, D is equal to the unit matrix 1, 0, 0, 1. Now let's multiply the two matrices on the left hand side. So we have 3 times A plus 2 times C. Next we have 3 times B plus 2 times D. So we've completed the first row. Now let's move on to the second row. We have 4 times A plus 4 times C and then 4 times B plus 4 times D and that is equal to 1, 0, 0, 1. Now these two matrices are equal matrices. So their corresponding entries or elements are equal as well. Therefore we have 3a plus 2c equals 1. Let's call this equation 1. We have 3b plus 2d equals 0. Equation 2. We have 4a plus 4c equals 0. Equation 3. And then we have 4b plus 4d equals 1. Let's call this equation 4. So we are going to solve equation 1 and 3 simultaneously. And also we solve equation 2 and equation 4 simultaneously because they contain or they have the same terms. So for equation 1, we have 3a plus 2c equals 1. And then for equation 3, we have 4a plus 4c equals 0. So let's make a the subject from equation 3. So from equation 3, we have 4a equals negative 4c. We divide through by 4 and then we have a to be equal to negative c. So we are going to put A into equation 1. So we are going to have 3 times negative C plus 2C equals 1. 3 times negative C is negative 3C plus 2C equals 1. Negative 3C plus 2C is negative C equals 1. And then we have C equals negative 1. So the value of C is equal to negative 1. And since A is equal to negative C, we have A equals negative into bracket negative 1. And that is equal to 1. Therefore, A is also equal to 1. Now let's find the values of B and D. So from equation 2, we have 3B plus 2D equals 0. And also we have 4B plus 4C equals 1. That's equation 4. So let's solve the two equations simultaneously. We are going to make B the subject from equation 2. So from equation 2, we have 3b equals negative 2d. We divide through by 3. And then we have b equals negative 2 over 3d. Now let's put b into equation 4. So from equation 4, we have 4 times b, which is negative 2 over 3d plus 
Now here is supposed to be d, so plus 4d equals 1. Now at this point, we can multiply all the terms of this equation by 3. So 3 times 4 times negative 2 over 3d, we can cancel out 3 so that we are left with 4 times negative 2d which is negative 8d. We have 4d times 3 which is plus 12d and then we have 1 times 3 which is equal to 3. Therefore we have negative 8d plus 12d equals 3 and that is also equal to 4d. Therefore, 4d is equal to 3. We divide through by 4 and then we have d equals 3 over 4. Don't forget that we had b equals negative 2 over 3d. So b equals negative 2 over 3d. Now since d is equal to 3 over 4, we have b equals negative 2 over 3 times 3 over 4. We cancel out 3, we are left with negative 2 over 4, which is equal to negative 1 over 2. Therefore, b is equal to negative 1 over 2. So we had a to be 1, b to be negative 1 over 2, c negative 1, and then d 3 over 4. Therefore, metric scale is equal to 1, negative 1 over 2, negative 1, 3 over 4. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.